Hey, Data Factory fans, welcome back to the channel. Today, I want to talk to you some more about migrating your EDF and Synapse pipelines into Fabric. And for this topic, I want to focus on debugging pipelines. Now, if you come from EDF or Synapse, you'll know that there are multiple modes that you can work in and that you can save and run your pipelines. There's Git mode so that you store your definition of your pipelines as JSON in a Git repo. There is also the essentially the run or the um, save your pipelines directly against the live service, which we call as a live mode, and that publishes your definitions directly against the Azure Data Factory service. Then you click the run button. There's also the debug button so that you can test what you're doing while you save it in progress. Just for context, let me quick switch back over to Azure Data Factory and give you a little bit of uh, context by showing you what I'm talking about. So when I'm connected to my Git repo, I can do things like Take a pipeline, in this case, a very simple one, just has a set variable. Let's add another activity to this, a copy data. And without configuring that, that's going to be invalid. So if I click validate, that's not valid. But if I'm connected to my Git repo, I can save this so that we can store those JSON file uh, definitions of your pipeline in your Git repo. Because we don't have to publish that directly against the live service, so it doesn't have to be valid. It gives you a good point in time, save a way to uh, work while working in progress and be able to save as you go. And then I can test this by using the debug button, which is very similar to run, but it allows you to test what you have done so far. Now, there's actually one more mode to be cognizant of, and that is the concept of actually taking what's already been uh, published to the service and triggering your new set of work one time against that live definition, and that is known as trigger now. So what we did for Fabric was we simplified things, eliminated all those different run modes, and just have one simple run mode. So if I go back to my pipeline in Fabric, you see you have just the run button. Now you can hook up your pipeline uh, and your factory and your entire workspace to uh, your Git repo as well in Fabric. But in this case, you still cannot save an in-progress pipeline that is invalid. So in this case, I have a couple of invalid definitions in my pipeline. If I go to click Save, it's going to block me by saying you have to fix those validation errors first. Now, in Fabric, the way you do that to save your work in progress is you essentially what we think of as commenting out that section of your code or taking out those activities by deactivating. So if I set it to deactive, and this one was also invalid, it said, if I set them both to deactive, I can now save my pipeline. I can continue and go. Which means the way to debug is just simply use that one single button. The run button will let you run this now and will let you essentially test what I've done so that when you've completed your test, you want to start working on your copy data and you make it valid, then you uh, activate it again. On the for each, once I do things like add an iterator in here, let's just go ahead and do that real quick so I can show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to just do a simple look at a range on this. And then we'll just quick go in here and we'll just add, let's just add like a, um, about a real quick weight activity should do it. Okay, so now back to the main canvas, and this now should be valid. Now click on Validate. Everything's valid, even though my copy data is still a work in progress. But I'm able to save, and I'm able to run this now in real time. Okay, so that's just a quick walkthrough and how you emulate the same debug and save as mode while working in your pipeline from ADF and Synapse inside of Fabric. Thanks for watching.